consider 2014 confirm and revise report in the Constitution Review. The Senate has said it will be making use of the Elder Fire Report on restructuring and the 2014 Constitutional Conference Report as part of the documents to be reviewed as part of the document to review the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In 2018, the governor, the governor Nasser El Rufai, led Committee on True Federalism, submitted its report to the National Working Committee of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, which set it up. The report suggested, the report requested, I beg your pardon, for devolution of powers to states and suggested that 10 items be moved from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent list among others. In 2014, the National Conference led by late Justice Idris Kutiji presented its report to the former president, Goodluck Jonathan. Part of its recommendations are creation of 18 more states, resource control, reintroduction of the former national anthem ETC. Recall that the Senate Constitution Review Committee was inaugurated on the 12th of February 2020 by the President of the Senate. Two meetings were held on the 26th of February 2020 and on the 3rd of June 2020 respectively to work out the modalities for carrying out this all-important national assignment. Among the major fallouts of the meetings were that the El Rufai report on restructuring and the 2014 Constitutional Conference report were recommended to be part of the committee's working documents. These two documents have been obtained by the Secretariat of the Committee for Duplication and Circulation of circulation to members. Deputy Senate President Ovie Omo Agege, who chairs the committee, stated in its meeting, which held on Thursday. The committee resolved to target March 2021 20, to submit its report to Senate plenary. Senator Omo Agege informed that compilation of all constitution alteration bills referred to the committee and gazetted are being collated to kickstart the work ahead. On the House committee, working relationship with its House counterpart, he said, this assignment is one that must be carried out jointly by the House of Representatives, apart from other stakeholders in the various houses of assembly and members of the public. Hence, I am in touch with my counterpart in the House to work out the modalities for a harmonious working relationship. In pursuance of this, our Secretariat has obtained all the bills for the alteration of the Constitution referred so far to our counterparts in the House of Representatives, and we have transmitted ours to them for further legislative activities. They include the need to make constitution more gender friendly and affirm equal rights to women and girls. The need to strengthen the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Federal Character Commission and other oversight agencies. The need to address the challenges of residency and indigenous ships. The need to address this federal structure of the country to be in tandem with our history and modern realities. The need to revisit social economic and cultural rights as entrenched in Chapter 2 of the Constitution as fundamental principles of state policy. Electoral reforms veto to make our electoral system credible, free, and fair. Fiscal federalism and revenue allocation and comprehensive judicial reforms. Omar Agege noted that the, this constitution review process presents another opportunity for Nigerians to look at these issues again. 
assuring that it will be guided by the principle of inclusivity and participation. On other activities carried out by the committee thus far, he said, we conducted a mapping of stakeholders that have been engaging in the constitution review exercise since 1999. We have collated previous reports such such he had such as the 2014 constitutional conference report and the elder files report on restructuring which are being analyzed we have also designed several outreach programs including the utilization of social media to receive and collect the views and opinions of nigerians at the end of our technical sessions our team will analyze the contributions and turn them into operations for the relevant sections of the constitution. Lastly, he stated that the committee will use virtual conferencing to facilitate its work in view of the COVID-19 pandemic, so as to ensure that our meetings within and outside the National Assembly premises are not unduly interrupted and frustrated from holding. All right, guys, this is a welcome idea you know, if you'd ask me, well, be that as a chair, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Nigeria is long overdue for a new constitution, as the old constitution has so many lapses. And uh, the reality t today is no longer captured in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as uh, uh, the 1999 constitution of the Federal Republic. So a new constitution is oh, long overdue. And the Senate has the responsibility, you know, to amend this constitution uh, in reality with all that is happening today. We're talking about technology. We're talking about um, the uh, 21st century um, realities. All this needs to be captured in the constitution. The issue of gender, the issue of um, human rights, the issue of freedom of information, the issue of true democracy and all what have you. And there are no better documents to support these than the 2014 CONFAB report, as we had it. This document was handed over to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, when he took over office. And one would expect that he would have considered that report, but unfortunately he did not. But it is now high time for him to consider, or for the Senate to take into consideration the realities that we face today and what the Constitution has offered. All this, we would see what this committee would come out with. But be that as it were, the fact that they have taken a decision to actually look into this and uh, effect an amendment is actually a good stand. And we give kudos to them. We hope that you know they'll be able to capture the true realities and come with a reasonable you know, a constitution that we will all be proud of for the next 10, 20 years to come. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular new story? Kindly drop it at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.